Hi there, okay, it's David Wilkinson here again from DH Fitness, They're bringing you episode two of our six video um, mini series. So the first video was all about kind of taking you around the gym, showing you kind of what it looks like, and then basically what we do with our clients when they first come in, take them through the FMS assessment. So when they've done the assessment, then obviously we can design the program. The next step in, the, in the, what we do here is we take clients through what we call our our prep and our mobility matrix, uh, mobilizational warm up and kind of co-activational exercises. The reason we do this for it's so so important to make sure that the client is is warm, is activated, is prepared both physically and mentally for the exercise. Gone are the days of warming up, jumping on a treadmill for <coughs> five minutes or getting on one of the bikes and doing five minutes cycling and a bit of static stretching. Those days are over, okay? Things have moved on a lot now. So this is exactly what we're doing. Take you through the full routine of what we do with each client as we as they come in. This um, mobility matrix is actually perfect for anybody of any abilities. So what they always start with is what we call foam roller. This is a foam roller, it's quite firm. We use this for self myofascial tissue release. So that's getting all the knots and all the tightness out of any of the muscles and also increases blood flow, which is great for when we're training. So I'm gonna go through this very, very simple. We start off with a, you can start off with a glute work and either do one or two ways, leg out and leg over the top and then roll right through the glutes here. Or you can kind of lift the leg up and you can roll it this way. Whatever it takes to really get that bun. You do like 10, 15 rolls, then same on the other side. Next one is ITB bands, which is a connective tissue from the knee to the hip. Really rolling all that out. That always gets very tight with people that do a lot of running and a lot of cycling. So that really helps with that. Then obviously they do the other side. Uh, then we go into quads, basically line onto the front here. Doing the quads right down from knee into the upper thigh. If you want to make it more intensive, you can lift the legs up. That makes it a lot more tight. <coughs> There. And then they do lower back, um, basically do middle of back to the top. They never do the lumbar region. So it's up here, rolling right to the top of the shoulders, right down the lower part of the middle of the back, and then right through again. All clients, when they've done this, really do see they feel a lot looser and a lot more mobile and ready for it. Okay, so now what we'll I do is go through the mobility matrix. I'm going to quickly fire through this and show you the exercise. This is standard at the age fitness. Everybody knows how to do this. Every client, whether they come to the gym, come to group sessions, or do our semi-private personalized sessions, they all know how to do it. So once we've done that, we just get on with this, okay? It's a system that we run here. We start off with hip rotations first. Hands on the side of the head. 60 seconds, hips forward. Rotating, two seconds out, two seconds in. They spend 60 seconds doing this. Then they do the other side. When we think about people like we mentioned in video one, where people are very, very tight, um, mainly they're tight in the hip flexor areas, weaken their glutes, weaken their lower back, weaken their hamstrings. This whole thing helps to alleviate any tensions and gets the muscles prepped up. Then what we do is we usually turn straight over, march in hip bridges, high as possible, leg up, pull for a second, down, pull for a second, down. Just doing a couple of reps of this, I can really feel my glutes firing because I have been sitting on my ass all day, so I can really feel that. It's great for strengthening the lower back as well. Straight after this, in the slow hill climbers, so they're there, working the reps out. They have a set number of repetitions or time that they must do for each exercise. Look how simple they are. Basic movements, anybody can do this, okay? After that, then we get a little bit more dynamic, going into what we call a Spider-Man stretch. Bumble slit gauge, foot around the outside stretch, back the off in the here. It's the mobilizing up. Yep. Working alternates here. Legs back, glutes engaged. Then again, we get more dynamic still, and we either do two options to do bear claws or they do tigers. This is all for mobilizing the hips, the shoulders, and getting our core muscles activated. So, a tiger is starting here, stepping in to the side, push up and down, in to the side, push up and down, opposite the in, or that's more of advanced, so we get people to do bear crawls where we just bear crawling forward, opposite knee, opposite arm. This is getting all the shoulder stability muscles working as well. You cannot just get people and expect people to do stretch and warm up and cardio work when you're going to do body weight training from. It doesn't work anymore. And as you can see, I'm trying to get a little bit out of breath doing this. 
After that, then we sometimes do a little bit of band work. I'm not going to show you how to do that right now because that's kind of something that we keep for our clients when they're in here. After that, we go into Y's. So the legs nice and straight. They squat down, hamstring stretch deep, arms up. They pull the shoulder blades back, drive through the heels. You get really great exercise, warm up, mobilizing the hips, the hamstrings, the rhomboids, the traps at the back. I'm stretching all my lower back out, right into here, there, performing into that. Yeah, cool. Then they go into lunge sequence, which is basically forward lunge, back to the middle. So as you can see, as we're stepping this up, the warm's coming a lot more dynamic. The clients are replicating movements and exercise they're gonna do in their session. Okay, so this is why we do it. This is perfect to get the whole body warm for whether or not we're doing anything from dumbbell work, barbell work, kettlebell work, we're doing boxing, if we're doing sprints, whatever we're doing, this warm up is perfect for that. Once you finish with the lunge sequence, then we take it through what's called ramp, which is basically just to ramp the heart rate, get the body working, get it everything kind of mobilized up. The ramp exercise determines on the client's ability, but it can either be something like uh, an inchworm, which is basically something we do for 15 seconds, uh, with a 10 second rest, and we do that three or four times. So it could be inchworm, could be burpee, could be squat, it could be long jump, uh, it could be high knees on the spot, it could be fast hill climbers, it's anything that's dynamic. So it could be 15 seconds of high knees, 10 second rest, repeat, could be burpees, 15 seconds, yeah, it could be just doing squats on the spot, squeezing the glutes up, okay, it could be long jumps, so jumping down the line, whatever it is, to get the whole body warm, prepared, so now just go in the bag, 15 seconds blasted out, but that takes them through the full warm ability, about 10-15 minutes, then the client is completely warm and ready to start training. Guys, that's the end of episode 2, thank you.